Steve Kirstein. I'm the president of the Stratton Foundation. So tonight at the Taste of Vermont, uh, roughly 40 vendors will be here, which is uh, pretty much what it's been for the past few years. Um, virtually all of them local, most of them with their specialty dishes or their specialty drinks. As I said, there's a little bit of friendly competition. There are judges, there are awards at the end of the night. Um, we will likely have several hundred uh, guests coming through uh, this evening. Uh, if you go upstairs in about an hour and a half or so, it's going to be pretty packed up there, uh, which of course is great to see. Uh, we also have uh, a raffle that we're running tonight. We have a, a number of beautiful gifts and people will buy a, uh, a lot of raffle tickets and that helps to support the foundation as well. Oh gosh, I really like the Black Bear Lodge. Um, they had sort of a tortilla with all kinds of vegetables on top of it and I've never really been in the Black Bear Lodge restaurant, but I might try it someday. And there was also another one at the Mountain Club that was really good and there are plenty of desserts all over the place. They were excellent. And the Stratton Foundation is a locally based organization whose mission is to fight generational poverty in southern Vermont. Uh, we, we raise money which we then grant to uh, various organizations uh, throughout the geographic area here and we provide funding for educational programs, for health and dental programs, for food programs, things of that nature to, to try to help combat uh, the poverty in the area. Hopefully we'll raise about $20,000 tonight. Uh, this is one of several events that we run each year. The Stratton Foundation raises the, the money that it ultimately grants for the most part by running events. Uh, just last week we had the 24 Hours of Stratton, which was a major event, very successful from a fundraising standpoint. Uh, we raised over $200,000 in that event. Uh, and this is another one of our significant events that we run every year. There are several programs that we're very proud to be associated with. Uh, one of them is something called the Student Success Program that's run at Burn Burton. Uh, it's designed to uh, help children who maybe don't have the same kind of background as what you think of as the typical Burn Burton student. Uh, the, these children need a support system in place. They need to learn how to be successful in high school and what it could mean for them if they are successful. Uh, there's actually a program that starts the summer before high school where uh, there's a lot of uh, education that goes on. It's a three-week camp. Uh, our uh, grants to Burn Burton fund a good chunk of that camp. Uh, we fund a number of food programs, backpack programs in particular in the area. One of the things that we always talk about is for families that don't have uh, enough money to put food on the table, the, the children uh, can get breakfast and lunch when they're at school. And if you think about it, they can get two meals a day, either for free or on a reduced cost basis, you know, 10 meals a week. Uh, but if you look at the number of days that the kids are in school, you know, roughly 180 days a year might be one way to think of it, that's 360 meals. Most of us eat 1,100 meals a year. These kids are getting 360 at school. Where do the rest of them come from if the family doesn't have the means to provide it? So backpack programs that um, provide food on the weekends and on school vacations and then some of the camps like the camp in Manchester also has one during the summer. Uh, so we're very proud to be a part of that and fund those. Uh, we're also proud to be uh, a part of a group that is, is funding a fair amount of uh, dental support in the area, you'd be amazed that the percentage of children who are at the high school level in this community have never been to a dentist. Mm -hmm. And uh, that could be for a variety of reasons. The parents don't have the time to take the children, the parents don't have the money, uh, they don't have dental insurance, even what's covered uh, by state Medicaid may not be sufficient. Sometimes the parents don't have the means of transportation to get to the dentist. There aren't that many dentists in the area. 
Uh, and so some programs have been started in the schools where dental hygienists come in, they educate the children uh, about dental care, they do provide examinations and cleanings. Uh, it's been a very successful program and, uh, and we're very proud to be a part of that as well.